Bangladesh registers 96 new fatalities from the coronavirus, the highest in a daily count, taking the death toll to 9,987. The caseload surged to more than 7 lakh after 5,185 people tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Week-long all-out lockdown has been enforced from Wednesday in a bid to restrict coronavirus surge. Law enforcing agencies are vigilant in Dhaka to check whether the safety protocols are maintained appropriately. Checkposts are installed at various points in the city. Dhaka University celebrates the Pohila Boishak 1428 with a token program on a small scale due to the current coronavirus situation. Students of Faculty of Fine Arts displayed masks and artworks at their Mongol Shobha Jatra, maintaining health guidelines. Five times lawmaker, presidium member of Bangladesh Army League and president of Supreme Court Bar Association, Abdul Motin Khosru passed away Wednesday. He was infected with coronavirus and was undergoing treatment at the combined military hospital in the capital. Bangla Academy President Professor Shamsu Zaman Khan dies after battling with COVID-19 at the age of 80. The academician, folklorist and writer breathes his last while undergoing treatment at Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University in Dhaka around 2.30pm on Wednesday. Bangladesh inks three agreements involving over 100 crore US dollars with the World Bank to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic and to build resilience to future crises, including vaccination. The agreements were signed by Economic Relations Division Secretary Fatima Yasmin on behalf of Bangladesh. India's new coronavirus infections reached a record of 1,84,372 in the last 24 hours. The nationwide tally of infections is 13.9 million, with the data on Wednesday showing deaths rose by 1,027, bringing the death toll to 1,72,085. Meanwhile, Mumbai and other parts of Maharashtra face stricter restrictions for 15 days starting Wednesday. Top state officials stress that the closure of most industries, businesses, public places and limits on the movement of people didn't constitute a lockdown. USA plans to withdraw the remaining troops from Afghanistan by September 11, 2021, officials say. The day will mark 20 years after Al-Qaeda attacks that triggered America's longest war. President Joe Biden's decision would miss the May 1 deadline by Donald Trump. Egyptian authorities order Ever Given's owners to pay 900 million US dollars in compensation as a result of losses inflicted when the Panamanian flag Ever Given prevented marine traffic from transiting through the vital global trade waterway Suez Canal for almost a week last month. <music>